everyone, welcome to my Roblox scripting series where I teach you how to script on Roblox. In this video, we're going to set up the basic studio layout and learn about the basic overview of scripting. So first, you need to download Roblox Studio, the link is in the description. Then you're going to want to open up a new place. I'm going to choose the regular base plate template. Next, you're going to want to open the Output, Explorer, and Properties windows. Select the tab at the top where it says View, and select Explore and Properties on the left side. Then on the top row, select the Output option. Place these tabs wherever you think is most convenient to you. My Explorer window is on the left, my Properties window is on the right, and my Output window is at the bottom. The Explorer tab shows you everything in your game. As you can see, there are services, parts, and other objects already in the game. The arrows beside the objects indicate that that object has other objects inside of it. These objects are called children. These objects reside under their parent object, which is the object higher in the hierarchy of the Explorer tab. You can tell if an object is a child of another object by looking at the indents in the Explorer. For example, the base plate is the child object of the workspace, and the workspace is the parent object of the base plate. Now each top service plays specific roles in the game. For instance, the workspace shows everything that is visible and physically interactable in the game. If I move one of the children, such as this base plate part, out of the workspace service, I'll no longer be able to see or physically interact with that object. Having selected the base plate, you can see a list of characteristics of that object in the properties window. These are called properties, hence the name. Each object has a specific set of properties that can be changed by a script during the game. For instance, this part has a color property. The color on the surface of this part updates as I change the color in the properties window. Properties are extremely important. If you want to do just about anything scripting wise, you'll need to be dealing with properties most of the time. And that is the very basic idea of scripting. Of course, as we progress throughout the series, the methods of changing these properties will become more complicated, but they all fall under the idea of changing properties at specific times to fit a specific scenario. In the next video, I'll teach you about variables and referencing. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment on how you felt on the video, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.